In this tutorial, we're going to be using Simplicity 9240 to create the hoodie view B. So the very first step is to determine your pattern size. And so for the pattern size, you're only going to need to take your bust measurement. So go ahead and measure around your bust or your chest, and you're gonna compare the size of that to the size chart over here. So for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to say that I'm gonna be making size medium. So I'll circle that so I remember. And then now I'm going to take out my guide sheet, which I've already done. And based off of the guide sheet, we're gonna go ahead and look at the pattern piece views, which is over here. We're making view B, which is the hoodie with the pocket um, indicated over here in these two pictures. Okay, then look over to the right. These are our pattern piece views. And then this shows you all the different pieces that are in the pattern and they also list the the name of them and which view they correspond to but a quick way to determine which ones you're going to need for your particular pattern is to go down to the cutting layout and we know we're making the B hoodie and it says right here you're going to use pieces one two four eight and nine so that's a really quick way to figure out which pieces you're going to need to cut out so after you've figured out which pieces you're going to need take out your um, the tissue paper for the pattern and then go ahead and identify those pieces okay I've unfolded my pieces and now we are going to find one two four eight and nine so quickly identify those I see one over here two here you know what I'm going to circle them that way I can remember which ones I'm gonna need One, two, four, eight, and nine. Okay, the other pieces we don't need, those are for pattern view A, but some of you guys might actually choose to incorporate the cuff that you see on pattern view A. You see the cuff here, and you also see like a waistband here. So if you wanna incorporate that into your hoodie um, for pattern view B, you can definitely do that. You would also cut out those pieces as well. If you want the cuff, you would cut out, um, it's called the sleeve band, piece number six. And if you want that waistband, that's called the lower band, you would cut out piece number seven. Okay, but otherwise, if you're making this as is, you are not going to cut out those pieces, six and seven. Okay, so I have one, two, four, eight, and nine circled on my, on my pattern, or on my... Uh, tissue paper here. And now because I said I was making size medium, you're going to go ahead with your with your highlighter and identify the line that indicates size medium. And like we did on previous projects, you're going to just go ahead and outline your size all the way around, making sure that whenever you see a notch that you do draw it outward so you remember to cut it in the opposite direction. Okay, I've gone ahead and outlined each of the five pieces that I'm going to need to cut. And I just wanted to point out a couple things. So on pieces one, two, and four, um, so in this view, um, this is piece number two. You can see over here. You're gonna notice at the bottom, it says here, and let me zoom in. <clears throat> it says here at the bottom, cutting line for view A, and it also says cutting line for view B. If you want to make your shirt longer in length, go ahead and cut it at the bottom line for view B. If you want to make it a little bit more cropped, as you see in this picture here, so it'll be about three inches shorter, go ahead and cut it. You can mark out this line that says cutting line for view A, and you can cut this a little bit shorter so your sweatshirt will be cropped. Okay, so same goes for piece number one. This is piece number one. This is the front of the shirt. Um, if you want it longer, cut at the bottom. If you want it shorter, go ahead and cut it at view A. And then the last piece where you see that is also on piece number four, which is the sleeve. You can see that over here. And then at the bottom, you're gonna notice also two lines here. Cut down here, or I'm sorry, cut down here if you want it to be a longer sleeve. Cut up here if you want it to be slightly shorter. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and 
cut each one of these pieces and then I'll show you what it looks like once they're all cut.